Behind me here is a poster with a bunch of words on it, and it represents the most important things I've learned in my life. And at the beginning, I learned the opposite of all this stuff. I didn't learn to be honorable and tell the truth. I learned to lie. Because if you can lie and get away with it, you can make more money. And you can get things that you don't deserve. Lie, cheat, and steal. If you can get away with it, it's okay. And believe the lies. Don't look, don't look for honesty or truth in the world. You just believe the lies. When the teacher tells you something, you believe it. When the TV tells you something, you believe it. When an adult, any figure of authority, they tell you something, you don't question it, you just believe it. Don't try to see what's really going on. And don't use the strength in your body. Don't be strong. Resist the urge to do things, to get up and run around and do no. You sit there, cross your fingers at your desk, be quiet and sit there for eight hours. No, you learn to sit there or we'll give you pills. Be, you sit there and become weaker and weaker and then you're a good boy. Don't have the courage to speak up against any of this stuff. No, no, you do as you're told. You shut up like a coward and sit there. Don't speak the truth. You just sit there and be a coward. Don't have any courage. And if you ever see anyone not doing what they're told, you express hatred toward them. You express anger and hatred. Well, you're weird. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? Why are you exercising? All you care about is your, is your looks? What kind of superficial loser are you? Oh, you're doing something different than other people. That's weird. You must be a, a nerd. Ugh. Express hatred toward people. Don't, don't show them love. Express hatred. And don't ever use your imagination to figure anything out. No, you do what you're told. You follow the instructions. When a problem comes up in life, don't, don't look inside your own mind and, and think and use your imagination to figure out what to do because you might come up with an answer that's different than what other people are doing. And then you're going to be weird and people will hate you. No, don't have the courage to do what you think. You just follow the instructions. You do as you're told. And your life, your life is not yours. Your life is nine to five. That's what you do. And then on the weekend, you get drunk. And the only bit of your life that you get is those moments, maybe before you go to bed, when you're, when you're by yourself and no one's paying attention, and you think, wow, my life's kind of boring and like, no, no, no. Don't you dare think about taking control of your own life. You do as you're told. And humility, forget it. Don't be humble about anything. The whole time you need full arrogance and you need to tell people, I've got to figure out, I know what I'm doing, I've got a good job and I've got this and that and I know what I should be doing and I know what everyone else should be doing too. Everyone should be doing the same thing as me because I'm full of arrogance. And that's how you become a good person. So that's what I learned growing up. And none of that jived with me. I hated the whole thing. So a couple decades ago, I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure out some, some way to straighten this out in my head. Because I'm constantly battling with everything I've learned growing up, growing up to this point. So I came up with the Adventure Builders Club, which isn't really a club, it's a, it's a philosophy. There's no, there's no membership card or clubhouse. Your participation in the club defines your membership. You're doing the stuff, you're in the club. You're not doing the stuff, you're not in the club. And it's all about adventure and building a life. <clears throat> and the, the important parts, honor. Tell the truth. Speak the truth. And when you say you're going to do something, you follow through with it. That's all about telling the truth. And <clears throat> you can't tell the truth if you can't see the truth. Look at the world honestly. Don't, don't pay attention to all the descriptions people are telling you about the world. Push No, put all that aside. Put aside all the biases and what everyone's telling you about the world. Move all that out of the way and see what's actually there. See the world for what it is. That's honesty. Strength, man, don't resist your urge to use your body. Even if it's been, if it's been crushed out of you for, for decades. If you're sitting there at home watching TV, thinking, man, the gutters need to be cleaned out, and the lawn needs to be mowed, don't pick up your phone. No, pick up the remote and turn off the TV and get your butt out there and you mow the lawn and you clean out your gutters. And by the end of it, you're going to feel much better than if you went 
and just sat in front of the TV for two hours while someone else did it. And have the courage to do those things. Don't worry about your neighbors coming over and laughing at you for cleaning out your gutters. Don't, don't worry about telling the truth and, and people, people saying, oh, you're being weird. No, you're not allowed to say that. Freedom of speech is not important. No, freedom of speech is so important. And if you don't have the courage to use it, that's how you use, lose it. You've got to have the courage. You've got to have the courage to stand up for yourself and say what you really think and say what you mean and do the things that you think are right, even if it's embarrassing or uncomfortable. And when people come at you with hatred, you come back at them with love. So if you're out, out there on your front lawn doing some exercise, having the courage to do some exercise because you know that it's going to make you feel better and stronger, it's just going to make everything better, and your neighbor comes out and says, you look weird, you look funny, you look stupid, why are you doing that? All you care about is your, your looks, what kind of superficial loser are you? They come at you with that hatred. Come back at them with love. Hey, man, I know it looks a little weird. It's a little unusual. It's not what we've been doing. But I tell you, it feels really good when you're done. Why don't you come over and join me? Let's do some jumping jacks and some push-ups. Let's embarrass ourselves a little and then feel great for the rest of the day because we got our blood pumping and everything. And most of the time, they're going to just and go away. But maybe, maybe after you planted that seed, a few months later, they might come out and look at you and be like, wow, that guy's getting jacked. Hey man, you know that exercise thing? Uh, you know, can I, can I come? You wanna come in? Yeah, come on man, let's do it. Bam, love. You're not gonna get through to everyone, but you're gonna get through to some people. And imagination, use your imagination to figure out how to solve problems. Don't just rely on what everyone else is doing. Don't just call someone or, or pay something every time something's wrong. Use your own imagination, figure stuff out. Because the more you use your imagination, the better it gets and the better solutions you can find to things. And maybe people are gonna look at you and say, boy, that's weird and unusual. But maybe then you'll get to go up to them and say, hey, look, I made this thing because I, I thought I could do a better job than what you can buy in the store. What? No, you, only, you, you should only buy things at the store. Don't use your imagination. Ah, but check it out. Look what mine does that no one else's does. It does this because I used my imagination and figured something out. Cool, right? Oh my gosh, that is cool. Man, this guy's got the coolest thing ever because he used his imagination to solve a problem instead of just doing what everyone else was doing and following the, following the instructions. And last, not last, but next is... Life, take control of your own life. Figure out what you gotta do to get control of your own life. And that might mean you have to play the game for a while. To save enough money to get ahead of the bills, to get yourself enough freedom, freedom enough breathing room to start having some control over your life. Because if you don't have any control over your, over your own life, it doesn't matter how much money you're making or how much respect or fame or any of this crap you have, you don't have any control over your own life, you got nothing. And humility. Remain humble the whole time. Don't get arrogant, even if you're doing a good job of all this stuff. And you're, doing, and you're looking at other people and they're not doing it. And you think, wow, I'm doing better. Always know that you have a long way to go. No matter how far you've come, you've still got a long way to go. And don't be afraid to try things where you're going to fail, where you're going to stumble and fall. And when you stumble and fall, don't jump up and say, well, it wasn't my fault, it's their fault and their fault, and, and find some arrogant way of figuring out how, how it wasn't your fault. No, you, you humbly accept that, yes, I've fallen because I lack something. And figure out what it is and figure out how to improve it. Maybe you need more strength. Maybe you need more courage. Maybe you need more love. Maybe you need whatever it is. Figure out what you're missing and accept that you don't have it. And then that gives you the chance to try to improve it. And that's how you grow. And without humility, you can't grow. Because if you already think you're the best, there's nowhere to go from there. But if you know you have room for improvement, that's how you get better. And if you can do all this stuff, your mind, your body, and your spirit begin to thrive. They begin to thrive in a way that you could not explain to someone who's not doing it. 
It would be like trying to explain what the world looks like to someone who's never opened their eyes. Like there are all these colors and... I could not explain to you what it's like to have a, a thriving mind, body, and spirit. You have to do it. And man, when you do it, the world is at just a different place. It like opens it up to, it's just a different place. It's worth doing. And when you can do all that, you realize that life, life isn't just something that happens to you. Life is an adventure. And a good life is something you build. And when you start building a good life, welcome to the club. <laughs>